Yo, this is crazy. I'm in this ridiculously cool old hotel in Cleveland. I don't know what this place used to be, but it's it's a Hyatt Regency. Anyway, um, Scandival. Scandival on Vanderpump rules the biggest scandal in Bravo television history. That's right, I said it. This is the biggest scandal in Bravo television history. What is going on right now on Vanderpump rules. And I know probably some of you are like, what, what are you talking about? Mike Rapp, why aren't you talking to me about sports or politics or complaining, yelling about the Knicks or something else? If you don't know this about me, well, then you don't really follow me because I am a humongous Bravo TV watcher, Bravo TV junkie. I was at BravoCon this year proudly, man. Still one of my favorite experiences. And I've been to some cool things. I've been to at, I've been to some cool like Hollywood events. Been to some cool Vanity Fair Oscar parties. I, I've been to some cool things. I've been to multiple NBA All-Star games. But I got to tell you, being at BravoCon and running into the amount of Bravo stars, icons that I got to do, at this year's BravoCon is up there with one of my favorite, favorite things that I've ever got. I've gotten to sit courtside at NBA All-Star games, courtside at Nick games, courtside at Laker games. Set once, to, set once next uh, to Suge Knight at a Lakers Spurs game. But BravoCon 2022 is up there. Look at this place. It's crazy, right? Anyway, so um, what's going on in anyway? So what's going on in Vanderpump? Vanderpump Rules. So there's been a huge cheating scandal, and if you, I feel like I don't need to bring anybody up to speed because you either know or you don't know. If you know, you know. If you don't know. You don't know. And like I said, there have been humongous, gigantic scandals in the world of Bravo. We had Luann, the Countess, with all her legal woes. We had Juicy Joe Judice and all his legal woes. We had Ju Juicy Joe Judice and Joe Gorga fighting. We had Teresa Judice go to jail, come out of jail. We had the exit of the great Bethany Frankel. We had the breakup of Nene and Kim. We've had Nene beefs up the wazoo. We've had Vic Vicky Gumbelson freakouts. We've had Sonia Morgan getting kicked out of her townhouse or leaving her townhouse. I mean, there's been so many. We had Jax cheating on Vanderpump. We had Lala, her whole thing with that creep producer she was, she had a baby with. I mean, I'm not even tipping the iceberg on, on the amount of scandals, things that have fans up in arms. But the Tom, Tom, the Tom Sandoval, Scandival, the Tom and the Bambi eyed B, and uh, I can't say Bambi eyed. B, I can't say the actual word. Shout out to Lala for coming up with that. I have been saying Bambi Eyed B all week. What a great nickname. But my wife was like, you can't call a 20 something year old woman a Bambi Eyed B. You're 52, you're gonna be 53 in March. So I just have to say Bambi Eyed B and you know what it stands for. But shout out to Lala, Lala Kent for coming up with that. Isn't this hotel ridiculous? Cool, right? Anyway, listen, what, what can I say? She stabbed Ariana in 
the back. In my opinion, hot take. Tom knew, Tom Schwartz 150% knew that his best friend, his ride or die business partner, his homeboy, he 150% knew the entire time that he was cheating on Ariana with Rochelle, Rachel, AKA Raquel. 150% he knew about it the entire time. And this might be the end of uh, Vanderpump Rules. This might be the end of the show as we know it. To quote R.E.M., it's the end of the world as we know it. It might be the end of the world as we know it when it comes to Vanderpump Rules. It's sad, it's upsetting that Bambi I'd be, she's calculated, she's kooky. Tom Sandoval, your music stinks. Your music stinks. The fact that you think that you should have people pay to come see you sing is, is embarrassing. And the one thing that I don't understand about the Vanderpump people cheating on each other and having affairs with each other and making out with each other and giving each other hand J's. You like how I'm not cursing? And BJ's and everything in between is that there's so many people in Los Angeles. There's so many people in Hollywood. There's so many people in West Hollywood. There's so many people in California. Don't you guys know anybody else besides your castmates on Vanderpump Rules? Like if you're gonna, if you're gonna go outside of your relationship, Tom Scandival, oops, I meant Tom Sandoval. There's other people to do with besides your castmates, which is gonna cause the demise of your restaurant. Unfortunately, the only reason why your restaurant is doing well is because the fans want to come. But if the fans don't like you, they're not gonna come to your restaurant. I just don't understand why the Vanderpump people continue to cheat and be with each other as if there's no other people in California, as if there's no other people in Hollywood, as if there's so many beautiful men, beautiful women that you could frolic around with, yet you just keep it within this inner circle of six to eight people. Sidebar, James and his girlfriend will not be together by the time the reunion hits. James and his new girlfriend will not be together by, time, but by the time the Vanderpump reunion hits. Anyway, I hope I covered it all. My man Jerry O'Connell was on Watch What Happens Live the other night and he said he wants these guys, Tom, 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 and James to start acting like men. And I have to disagree with my man, James, uh, Jerry O'Connell. I want them to continue screwing up I want them to continue to be messy. I want them to continue to make asses out of themselves so we the fans can continue to enjoy it, relish, and just get so much enjoyment out of their mistakes. Anyway, I'm out.